Hey, you're gonna learn how to make a unique photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now. Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more awesome videos like this. You're welcome to another video on this channel. Without further ado, let's get started. To pull this off, we need images. I've imported mine, you can do so. So let's get started by importing some of our images to the timeline. Let's drag down our images to the timeline one after the other. The next thing we need to do is to crop our images. So right click on it and click on crop and zoom or just click on this icon and you take your right there. Let's change our photo aspect to 16.9. Click OK. Click on the second image and click on the icon and do the same to all the images one after the other. Now let's highlight our images. All right, click and copy. And let's add more tracks to our timeline. Leave an empty track in the middle and move to the next track. Right click and paste the images right there. Now as you can see, we have our images in two tracks and the middle is left empty. So click this icon and hide the first track. Click the first image and click that icon to go to crop and zoom. And now let's add zoom to our image. Go to the second one, click on the image and click on that icon and it will take you to crop, click on pan and zoom and add motion to our image. Do the same to all the images one after the other. All right, now let's click this icon to show our images on the second track. Double click on the first image and go to transform. On the scale, change it to 70 and click OK. Go to effects and search for border. Drag and drop it on the first image. Now as you can see, we have border added to our image. Double click on the image and let's add drop shadow to it. You can adjust it just the way you want it. All right, when you're done with it, instead of doing the same thing, repeating the same thing to each one of the images, we can take a shortcut here. Just right click on it and click on copy effects. Then highlight the other images and right click and click on paste effects and the same effect will be applied to all the other images. Let's go through it and see what we have. As you can see, the effect has been applied to all the other images. All right, now it's time to add animation. Now click on animation and click on customize. Move the playhead five frames forward and let's add a keyframe. Change the rotate to 10% and move the playhead back to the beginner five frame backward and change the scale to, to 200% and this is what we have. Now move the playhead five frames from the last frame forward. change the scale to 110% and they rotate to 10%. Alright, let's move the playhead 5 frames forward again and add a keyframe. Restore the rotation and the scale. They are moved the playhead 5 frames forward again. This time around, change the rotate to 10% and the scale to 80%. Then go to position X and change it to 500% and that will take our image out of the screen just like this. 
So with this done, we're done with our first animation on our first image. So let's move to the second one. Click on it and follow the same process down to the first one to do to apply to the rest of the images or to the second image. Alright, this is how our next animation is going to look like. So in order to pull that off, let's click on the image and move the playhead 5 frames forward. Then add a keyframe. Change the rotate to minus 10 and move the playhead back to the beginning and change the scale to 200. So move the playhead 5 frames forward from the last keyframe and change the rotation to 10% and the scale to 110%. Move the playhead 5 frames again and change the rotate to minus 10%. Then move the playhead 5 frames forward then change the scale to 80%. And now go to the screen and drag the image to the side and drop it right there. Then restore the rotates and this is what we have. Apply the same thing to the rest of the images one after the other. Doesn't matter how many images you have. You can follow the same process and apply it to the images one after the other. So check out what we have so far. If you find value so far, I think you should click that subscribe button. Now let's go to effects, click on effects and search for square blur. Drag and drop it in between the two tracks on the empty track. Double click on it and let's make some changes to it. Now as you can see, it has been applied to our first image, the one we're going to use for our background or as our background. Now move the playhead to the last keyframe on the first image and slide the square blow right there and delete the other part. Click on the square blow, right click on it and copy. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the second image and paste it right there. and do the same to all the other images one after the other all right we're done with that and this is what we have now we have a blur background now the next thing we need to do is to add some transition so click on transition go through our transition you can apply any transition you want but I'm gonna apply this media so drag and drop it in between the images one after the other I'm gonna apply the new set breaking new so drag and drop it there it doesn't matter which transition you want you can apply whichever one you want just drag it and drop it in between the images one after the other when you're satisfied with the transition now the next thing is to add some sound effects and music so you can find any music of your choice or sound effects and add it to your video and with that done i think we're done with this tutorial you can make any necessary adjustment just go through it and make sure it's exactly the way you want it to be and if you've done that congratulations you just made a unique photo slideshow and you can apply this to any type of video you want to do if you miss any part you can go back and take it again you can slow down this video and follow it slowly once you get it right and you don't have to do it the same thing you can add your creativity here 
And if you have any question, you can leave it in a comment below and I'll attend to it. So thanks for watching this video. And don't forget, if you're new here, smash that subscribe button right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out some of my videos on this channel. And why don't you start with the one on the screen right now? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.